Klimt was born on July 14, 1862, on the outskirts of Baumgarten, Vienna, and grew up in a creatively stimulating environment. His father was an artist, engraver, and goldsmith, while his mother had a passion for music and even aspired for him to become a professional musician. He initially learns painting from his father. Klimt lived in poverty while attending the Vienna Kunstgerbestschule, a school of applied arts and crafts, now the University of Applied Arts Vienna, where he studied architectural painting from 1876 until 1883. In 1877, his brother, Ernst, who, like his father, would become an engraver, also enrolled in the school. The two brothers and their friend, Franz Match, began working together and by 1880, they had received numerous commissions as a team that they called the Company of Artists. Klimt began his professional career painting interior murals and ceilings in large public buildings on the Ringstrasse, including a successful series of allegories and emblems. Gustav Klimt's success materialized during the design of the Museum of Fine Arts and History in Vienna. It was during that time that Klimt's unique and distinctive style took shape. In 1888 Klimt received the Golden Order of Merit from Emperor Franz Joseph of Austria for his contributions to murals painted in the Berg Theater in Vienna. Klimt became one of the founding members and president of the Wiener Secession in 1897 and of the group's periodical, Ver Sacrum, Sacred Spring. He remained with the Secession until 1908. The goals of the group were to provide exhibitions for unconventional young artists, to bring the works of the best foreign artists to Vienna, and to publish its own magazine to showcase the work of members.
On July 14, 1905, Gustav Klimt left this group due to contradictions in artistic perspectives. In 1894, Klimt was commissioned to create three paintings to decorate the ceiling of the Great Hall of the University of Vienna. Not completed until the turn of the century, his three paintings, Philosophy, Medicine, and Jurisprudence were criticized for their radical themes and material, and were called pornographic. Klimt had transformed traditional allegory and symbolism into a new language that was more overtly sexual and hence more disturbing to some. The public outcry came from all quarters, political, aesthetic, and religious. As a result, the paintings were not displayed on the ceiling of the Great Hall, this was to be the last public commission accepted by the artist. All three paintings were destroyed when retreating German forces burned Schloss Immendorf in May 1945. In 1902, Klimt painted the Beethoven frieze for the 14th Vienna Secession Exhibition in celebration of 75th anniversary of the composer Ludwig van Beethoven's death. It was featured alongside a monumental polychrome sculpture by Max Klinger. Meant for the exhibition only, the frieze was painted directly on the walls with light materials. The frieze combined ancient Greek, Byzantine, early medieval, and Japanese art styles, while incorporating Klimt's characteristic use of gold leaf. Its left side begins with genii floating toward a knight, driving him to protect mankind's happiness. The middle panel displays personified threats to society, such as lust, typhus, and syphilis. Its right wall culminates with the genii leading humanity to happiness through poetry, choir singing, and a loving embrace. While imprisoned by her father Acrisius, king of Argos, in a tower of bronze, Danae was visited by Zeus, symbolized here as the golden rain flowing between her legs. It is apparent from the subject's face that she is aroused by the golden stream. In this work, she is curled in a royal purple veil, which refers to her imperial lineage. Sometime after her celestial visitation she gave birth to a son, Perseus, who is cited later in Greek mythology for slaying the Gorgon Medusa and rescuing Andromeda. A close couple is depicted here, while the rest of the canvas is adorned with a vibrant and extraordinary surface. 
The man wears an irregular pattern of black and white rectangles on a golden background, adorned with a crown of grapevines, while the woman is shown in a floral dress with flowers in her hair. In the early 1890s Klimt met Austrian fashion designer Emily Louise Floge, a sibling of his sister-in-law, who was to be his companion until the end of his life. His painting, The Kiss is thought to be an image of them as lovers, which was painted five years after Klimt's 1902 full-length portrait of her. The concept of the Tree of Life is illustrated by Gustav Klimt's painting, in a bold and original manner. The swirling branches create mythical symbolism, suggesting the perpetuity of life. The branches twist, twirl, turn, spiral and undulate, creating a tangle of strong branches, long vines, and fragile threads, an expression of life's complexity. With its branches reaching for the sky, the Tree of Life roots into the earth beneath, creating the connection between heaven and earth, a concept often used to explain the concept of the tree of life, in many cultures, religions, and ideologies. The tree of life illustrated by Klimt also creates another connection, with the underworld, signifying the final determinism governing over any living thing, that is born, grows, and then returns back into the earth. In 1892, Klimt's father and brother Ernst both died, and he had to assume financial responsibility for his father's and brother's families. The tragedies also affected his artistic vision, and soon he would move towards a new personal style. In Hope 2, she is wearing a long dress or cloak decorated with geometric shapes. She has long brown hair and closed eyes, bowing her head towards her bare breasts and burgeoning abdomen. Water Serpents, like the first painting, deals with the sensuality of women's bodies and same-sex relationships. The painting has a rich history. During World War II, it was stolen by the Nazis. Klimt rested on the shores of Lake Outer Sea, a place that created many beautiful landscapes. In Gustav Klimt's landscape paintings, one can observe the entire evolution of his works.
In the final years of his life, Klimt created works largely departing from his earlier artistic principle. In his latest works, patterns have been softened in the form of mosaics or eastern carpets. The starkly naked red-headed woman holds the mirror of truth, while above her is a quotation by Friedrich Schiller in stylized lettering, If you cannot please everyone with your deeds and your art, please only a few. To please, many is bad. He never painted a self-portrait. He said. I believe that as a person, I am not so interesting, there is nothing particularly remarkable about me. I am a painter. And if you truly want to know more about me, examine my paintings, they describe me.